Okay, this is happening in Bangladesh. Virus, what virus? Define lockdown, 100,000 gather for Isl Is Islamist leaders' funeral. Hmm. Uh, Maulana Zubair Ahmed Ansari died wow, in Wow, you did a very good job. Uh, that was good. Th that was good. That's impressive. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, <laughs> I, I, I practice a lot before the show. Um, <laughs> had a service last weekend where it is estimated that at least 100,000 people gathered for his funeral. Define Pakistan's five person gathering rule. Attendees walked past police that were told to stand down and allow people to gather for the service without with many not wearing face masks. Okay. I mean, yeah, Rivka, you wanted to say? It's Bangladesh, not Pakistan. Yeah. Oh. We're, on, we're on Bangladesh, right? Yeah, okay. this is Bangladesh. Yeah, it's Bangladesh. It's, it's Pakistan's, Pakistan's baby sister. But, but, yeah. so, <laughs> so, so, you want to say? Don't blame me, blame the copy editor. Uh, no, what? I was, yeah. I was just making that clear. It, oh. So people understood. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this is this is dumb. I guess what I don't know what else to say. That is so stupid. Shopan, you wanted to say something, that, and I cut you off. No, I, I was saying that it was it used to be Pakistan once. It is not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. By the way, ARN in the live chat is saying Armen statesmen are extremely uh, ig ignorant in Pakistan. The military and clerics are not. Uh, distinct and separate. There is years of evidence for it. No, that's horseshit. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. Um, I mean, they are connected. That just because they're connected and have influenced each other, that doesn't mean they're um, they're the same thing. Um, all right. Oh, like also, Aaron is saying, army should know that many military folks in Pakistan have very close ties to the colors. Yeah, I do know. That doesn't mean they're the same unit. So it's very interesting because you, just because two things have ties with each other, that doesn't make them the same thing. Everybody knows that they have ties with each other. Um, yeah, okay. So ARN, you're being, you're nitpicking just because you don't like what I say. Um, but anyways, Bangladesh, I mean, how's, the, how's Corona doing? In, like, what are the numbers? Are they like one of the top countries right now or are they behind? 500 new cases or something 500 new cases again yeah. just just to clarify yeah. the reported cases of bangladesh would be accurate like any other south asian country it would be like we are far off the mark well, yeah. no cases. i can hear what shubham is saying what is he saying i was saying that the reported cases would be far off of the mark than the actual number of cases i don't think in south mm -hmm. asia like countries like pakistan uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. A very accurate Yeah. Well, according to um, this um, Bengali news site in English that I looked at, they were saying, you know, on Monday they reported 490 some odd new cases, the biggest daily jump. Um, wow. And um, hmm. they're telling people to stay inside, but then people are, def you know, defying these orders. And, um, then more cases were reported during the 24 hours um, after, you know, bringing it up to several hundred more. And um, then the home minister um, said that he expects to see a crackdown going forward. And he said that you're right that people are not abiding by the lockdown order of the government, despite the efforts of the armed forces, law enforcement agencies. If this situation turns bad, from bad to worse, we must be tough to force the people to obey the government order. Mm. So he's, I guess they're saying, you know, like this isn't going to stand. You will see that coming in, you will see that in the coming days, he said, without elaborating. Yeah. Yeah, but, but also go on. What I wanted to say was like, I checked and the reported cases in Bangladesh are around 5,000 right now and not many deaths, not many reported deaths. Right. Maybe that was the death. But, on yeah, but again, what Chopin was saying is very important because the reported numbers are depend how close they are to the actual numbers is really change is different from place to place. And it's always obviously much lower. 
But again, how close it is really depends on the country. And sometimes these numbers, you know, you don't, a lot of people think some governments are misreporting the numbers. You don't even have to misreport the numbers. You could just do less testing and you get lower numbers, right? So, you know, you could just be like, if you, if you, if you think, if you worry that people are going to panic, like, I'm not saying this is a good thing. I think the more testing is important. But if you want to, like end your lockdown. Um, one thing some some cities could do is like, hey, let's do lower testing so the numbers go up slower. So if the numbers go low, up slower, it looks like we're past the peak. So we could stop the lockdown, right? So again, this is not manipulating the numbers that, I mean, it is kind of manipulating, but it's not misreporting the numbers that you have. You could just do the number of testing you do has. So, and again, when people compare countries to countries and cities to cities, Sometimes it's not a fair comparison. Like, oh my God, this city has hit a lot more than the other city. No, that city had done more testing, right? So again, people have to be careful how they look at the numbers and the conclusions they get out of it, right? So again, disclaimer, I'm not a, I'm not a health expert. I, I haven't done these research myself. You have to do your own research, go look it up directly. Do not uh, quote me on any of these things. This is my understanding, which could be completely wrong. Um, do you guys, anybody want to add anything before we go to the okay. next one? Uh, what I want to say was like, uh, it's not just that the city has done more testing, it could also be because the city has more traffic from around, uh, all around like the country or even the world. Right. Like a yeah. very, a city with an airport, international airport would have, uh, would mm. more would more likely have more cases than a city, let's say just not really that big, but it's still a city, I mean. Yeah, I mean, this is why United States and Western Europe would hit were hit the hardest um, compared to so many other places because they have a lot more tourism, right? Uh, a lot, a lot of more flights in and out. Because it's very interesting because in Iran they were like, "Aha, look, United, like the United, United Iranian government was like, people were saying, looking at Iran, Iran has hit hard by coronavirus, and they're saying like we're not handling it right. But look at America now, like look at you guys, you guys are number one. You guys, well, like I mean. The, the problem with the United States and is compared to so many other countries is because they have a lot more people coming in and out, uh, you know, that's, and, and also Western Europe. Like, so for even like, for example, in the Philippines, you look at Manila and the whole Luzon area is hit hard a lot more compared to a city like Davao city, because there's a lot more flights going in and out of Manila compared to other cities in, in Philippines. Right. So again, news, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You may, we think is no, and oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. So like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So